Hello, today we're going to be doing lead code problem 2723, which is add two promises. This problem states, given two promises, promise one and promise two, return a new promise. Promise one and promise two will both resolve with a number. The return promise should, have, should resolve with the sum of the two numbers. So what is a promise? Basically, it's a calculation that will eventually turns, return something. It's like, well, I promise to give it to you later. Kind of like when your friend owes you money. You never see it. But anyway, a promise is a guaranteed return, but it's not immediate. So this is the syntax here. We have new promise, resolve, timeout. So two, basically it's equal to two with a 20 second timeout. And this uh, five with a 60 second. Anyway, but no, 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 two plus five is seven. Same thing here, promise one, promise two, 10 and negative 12, negative two. Okay, to solve this, we're gonna use the promise all function, which basically just adds two promises. And then we have to use the await function to wait until the promise returns its, its value. So we're gonna do const for constant, and then we'll pass in Two values. Call them value one, the value two. And we're going to await that with the promise all I talked about. And that's going to have your promise one, promise two. All right. And then we just need to return value one, whoops, value one plus value, come on, it's got value two. Let's hope I did that right. All right, that finally returned and accepted. It took a while to judge, usually I'm judged right away. We'll submit it. All right, looking good. So the time complexity of this is based on promise one and promise two time. So because those vary, we have to take the max of that value. And then space complexity is O of one. We're not doing any calculations. They're going to increase the amount of space we need. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.